In this video I will show you how to use the Brand Association Excel template. Uh, this is available for free download at this site here, perceptualmaps.com. Okay, so when you download it and open it, it's going to initially uh, ask you to enable content because the uh, particular spreadsheet uses a macro to do the calculations. Now I've put in some data already, but when you open it, it'll look like this, except the blues will be empty. Okay, so it says only enter data in the blue cells. Okay, but I've filled it out for you, so we'll know what we're doing. Okay, so step one, what do I want to call my map? Step two, what brand I'm looking at, in case you don't put it there. I've put in Apple, it self-populates down here. And then I've got then up to 12, and um, it's difficult to do more because as we um, start looking at the, all of these terms, we need to compare uh, each term with each other uh, to make sure we're getting a logical map. So I, I've put different uh, attributes and associations which we may have with Apple. I've also put their key competitor there as well. So I'm just going to change one. Um, so basically I'm going to put the um, a different word in there. I'm going to put in value. Okay, and basically value then came in here, came in here, anywhere we had uh, the previous word. So basically, if I undo that and just look on that cell there, whatever you type in, it needs to be compared with each other. So initially, obviously, we compare everything with Apple. And I'm using a, a scale of 1 to 9. That's the scale there. So if we think they're very close, we use 1. If we think uh, we're not that sure about it, we do 5. And if they're virtually the opposite, we put a 9 in there, for example. So I've just made up some data, which is you know, fairly, fairly accurate. But I've just sort of filled it in for you. OK, so basically, as we add things, um, these will self-populate. So Let's assume you didn't have that many. I'm going to take out these three, see what happens. Just going to hit the delete button. And you can see that those variations have disappeared. OK, so we don't need them. Obviously, when you have this spreadsheet, the data will not be there. OK, it's just going to reset for, for us. OK, so basically, uh, step three is to put in what you want to look at. Step four. Um, takes a while if you've got a lot of variables here we end up with each of these needing to be compared on that scale and basically once we've done that or got the data for that uh, we're good to go now if you've never used uh, Excel solver before you'll need to add it okay down the bottom here there's instructions on how to use it okay just come back over here but I said uh, Solver is standard with every version of Excel, okay, including the student version. So once we've got the data, we simply go down here and says click this box. Now our map's here, but we just click it, okay, and it starts running. So it takes about a minute, so I'm just going to pause the, the video for a second. Okay, my data's finished running, and it says cursor will return. So while it's calculating, my cursor will be a, a circle. And then basically my map is simply sitting at the bottom here. Okay, so in this case, uh, Apple, quite known for innovation, uh, etc. So I can then, as it says over the side here, I can just copy it and click on it. So I can just click on the edge of it. And then I can just copy and paste as a, as a picture, most normally into a PowerPoint slide or a, uh, or a Word document or whatever you're working on. So basically that's it. Okay, so if you want to change some of the data, um, so you said Samsung was easy to use, etc. Uh, change whatever numbers you think, you then need to rerun it. Okay, it won't automatically do it. It uses multi-dimensional scaling and it's looking at all of these comparisons and trying to make sense of it on, on a map. Okay, so that's all we're doing. So also have a look at the video on how uh, to read uh, an association map as well.